and Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Good evening to everyone. Happy holiday to you and your family. I want to give God praise and thanks for you in the house this evening, this Sunday evening, a blessed Sunday, sunny evening to you. And I want to know that you are in the pink of health. Yes, the rain has been falling and falling and falling. But God, look, look at what the Lord has done. He gave us some good sun. Some good, good sun. And not only, not only the shining sun, but his son, Jesus Christ. And we are in a festive season where we are celebrating so many wonderful things. And I am here just to say happy holiday to you and to give thanks unto Almighty God for all the wonderful and great things he has done and he will continue to do in each and every one of us lives. Yes, I am Pastor Patricia Henry of Stepping on the High Waters and Laborers in the Vineyard and also the Senior Elder of Divine Destiny Restoration Worship Center, Stobay Local Road, Crown Point, Palm Eagles Drive. And on set with me to this evening is no other than Minister Sharon Laurie Forrester George, no stranger to the set, and she will be here giving thanks and also going through um, a procession that she had on the streets of Scarborough and uh, she will explain what happened, how she felt and stuff like that. So we are asking you to just sit back on your couch with some juice, some water, some popcorn, whatever it is and just take in ministry this evening. Welcome to Stepping on the High Waters, Minister Sharon. Good afternoon, Pastor Pat. Thank you for having me once again. Bless you, bless you, bless you. So we are here to talk about that event that went before. Before we do that, I will pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift up your name yes, in all the earth. We thank you, God, for who you are. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for the season that we are in. We thank you for that love that you portray to us, God. Yes, that same love on the cross, Lord, the way you die for our sins. Mm. So we thank you for this season that many of us will be, or in fact, all of us will be in a safe zone. We will do things with wisdom, yes, knowledge and understanding. Yes. And Lord, we will stay under protection, your divine protection. In Jesus' name, we say, have your way in our lives. Amen and amen. amen yes so we you had an event before and to me that event was phenomenal it was awesome it was um, yes the whole of scarborough was not lit up but the portion that was lit up it was very lit it up indeed and as Psalm 27 says, verse 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Amen. And uh, that day was a day of lighting up, I should say. A day of joy, excitement. A, a day where um, you believed. All the dancers believed God. They believed that God 
was just showing off himself in yes. splendid colors yes. because you had different colors um, yes. portraying on the streets of Scarborough. You know, people were looking on. Yes, the weather seems iffy, but mm. still God did his thing. Things happened, meaning um, people gave their lives to the Lord yes. and there were no fainting on no. the street and people were just in a glorious mood. Yes. Speak to us. <laughs> <laughs> Everything uh, once again. Thank it's you. A, um, it's always a privilege and honor to come and share, you yeah. know, in this format. And I thank God for really, you know, the anointing that is placed in all of our lives Amen. that we can really, we can really, you know, go forth and do what He has called us to do. Yeah. yeah? Um, prayer, praise, and pageantry. Yes. <laughs> it was indeed an evening of praise and prayer. Yes. Because as much as we are the pageantry aspect of it, mm -hmm. um, because of the weather, we could not have done as much as we would like to in the displays and to experience all that. But nevertheless, I believe that is what, what happened was exactly what the Holy Spirit wanted. Amen. And we only could say, you know, God will was done. And Amen. we know for sure that he did show up. Yeah, because... Um, one of the things that we were trusting the Holy Spirit for, not just what we would have went to go and do in the Scarborough there, but they also, the main thing we were trusting him to do was to hold that weather. True. Because that weekend, yes, we see yes, yellow, yes. we see orange. That's right. Imagine at 12 o'clock on we the 27th. See white. Listen, at 12 on the 27th, be a message coming in, you know? Uh, we on orange alert. <laughs> like, yes, yes. And 12 now, we're still in church. And I'm like, Lord, listen. I said, nothing is going to change. I said, we're gonna, we have to believe. And we are people of faith. Okay. And I said, listen, you got to activate your faith. Yes, you can. I said, and most I could have said, I said, just walk with the umbrellas in case. That's right. But nothing was changed. And honestly, we just was in surprise and just oh the weather hold up oh everything and anything that could have went wrong went wrong yes <laughs> yes but everything i believed was done according to what the holy spirit wanted Amen. and he was very much pleased and souls also came to him yes. you know we saw persons in the streets as much as you know we didn't have the big crowd and the the the, the all thing but listen to me i believe because it was more than, the you know, Bible said, we're two or three are gathered. Listen, yes, right, it was more right. than two or three of us. Yes. You know, and because he would have sent us out on assignment to do this thing, I see, I saw where the Holy Spirit does take charge. And, you know, we just, we continue to just get so many feedbacks from, you know, the videos from persons away, you know, overseas. Testimony. Listen. And I said, God, what about if we were saying, you know, what the rain for? Because a lot of people just kind of back out, back out on the set day, you know? And I'm like, Lord, listen, it doesn't matter what happened. We're going to fit that in when it's time. But for now, let's just focus here. And I said, we can't go out there. If we say, I tell God says to do something, we got to understand it's, it's business. So yes, he's going to yes. fix the weather. Because yes, he's yes. in charge of the weather. Amen. He's in charge of all of us. And That's he's going right. to put things in place. That's right. Even when it comes to the music, Pastor, listen. Everything we had lined up for the DJs, nothing wasn't working. Mm. How is that? But we know that we're not, we not we, as much as we can, we see, um, we know we believe in God, but yes, understand yes. that the spiritual thing, the things in the mm -hmm. spiritual, mm -hmm. the enemy will always try to bring something to bring distraction That's that will right. throw us off from believing and That's even right. trusting in our Lord. And I'm glad, listen, I commend every minister of the gospel that came and prayed. Mm -hmm. I commend every minister that came out and every dance minister that came out and ministered. Listen, every parent that was there in support, listen, we couldn't ask for anything else more. The word of all up, and we just did what we were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And I am telling you, Tobago has already <laughs> been experiencing that shift what the Holy Spirit is talking about. So tell me something. Um, Apostle Vivian had sent a tape that we will, we will, um, when we come next week, we will pr play that okay. for, for others to hear, those who weren't able to hear it because okay. of the weather, we weren't able to play it okay. on that night, that Sunday night on the 27th. And uh, tell me something, 
in the realm of the spirit, you, can, you could have felt the, the, the changes, the real shifting of how things were. But I want to look at how the dancers were maneuvering. They were moving. Um, they, 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 they were spinning in the directions that they, they planned they, or practice or whatever. But you know, sometimes, many times I should say that on the day of the event itself, when that presence of the Lord, the Spirit yeah. of the Lord kicks in, mm. you can see yourself moving swifter or more swiftly I should say than how you practice because it, it, there is that, that, that presence that picks you up and, and moves you, you know, and takes you like a whirlwind, like a wind and shifts you into the, the areas that you're supposed to, or the movements, I should say, that you're supposed to dance. Speak about that. Because I've I'm seeing I was I was seeing people just moving the to the atmosphere, moving to the presence of the Lord, and is 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 that the steps were in order, the movements were in order, and people's faces were shining. It's like this is something awesome, the and glory. and many times you don't ever see it or feel it when you are practicing before, but when you are centered there you will start to see and feel a different level of movement operating in your body, operating in the spirit. And then your flesh and all start to unite with the God's presence. Speak. Can I tell you that every ministry that you saw on the street, nothing was choreographed. Oh, okay. <laughs> because everything that we had choreographed, for later down in the evening at the amphitheater. Okay. We couldn't have done that. And even if we wanted to at the port from there, we couldn't have because nothing was playing. Okay. No music that we had, what we planned for, nothing. Okay. So basically, all the ministers was just flowing with the Lord, flowing with the Holy Spirit. And we moved from where we was just, you know, just praising, giving eye praise, to a place where we saw the Holy Spirit really came in and just take over and this way you see the prophetic movements right the spontaneous come with the prophetic, prophetic yes. start to move and yes, this way the yes. shift came yeah because it, it's not just you're just just moving flags or just moving you would have seen if you look at the videos and them like apostle said apostle Gemma said when she look at one she didn't open the rest you mm -hmm. could have feel the anointing yes. when the flags was raised the colors the dance ministers we have on different colors that we were, we know what we went there for oh, because we know right. what God said to do, what to wear, what to... Listen, all we had to do and we did was position ourselves. And the Holy Spirit took over. Mm -hmm. he Presenting took over, yourselves listen, as a living sacrifice and is, unto the Lord. This is what the ministry of dance is all about. We just don't do dance at the Shekinah. No. Where we are, the presence of the Lord is. This is what we're talking about. And you speak about, you spoke on this. The, the, the person's place was glowing. You know, you could have, listen. It has a feeling when the Lord takes over. It has a smell. It has a, like a Teeth. horror. Listen, yes. it's like, God, I'm so yes. cool. Hey, listen, it's like, you don't know, yeah, but you, you allow know. God Because you're being open way. to the Holy yes. Spirit to move. Because that's what we keep saying, right? Wherever it, um, worship is, we include the Holy Spirit to come in and, and do what he has. So in the reason, at times, yes, we might have choreographed to the T. But at many times, we know this all too well, that the sometimes the choreograph moves don't ever go forward. Okay. Sometimes something comes and in the music from playing. Listen, yes. what do you do then? Mm -hmm. No, you just flow with whatever is there because understanding that we already have the Holy Spirit in us. We already invite His presence there among us. So you expect Him not to come and move and do His thing? You, know? so you saw dance ministers on their knees in Scarborough, prostrate, That's right. crying, mm -hmm. just stop it in. This is nothing that you would see. You, if you tell any young person, <laughs> Yeah. Let we go in. It's like, what, me? People to see? No, but at there and then, 
people didn't we didn't have a problem who see you and who how you because of the experience the presence of the lord and you what you want to see because remember some people may not uh, be in that place yeah where the others are so you know they, their confidence in that is not at that level so yeah. they, they wouldn't want to you, you know to be seen in scarborough in the middle of scarborough <laughs> Lying or sitting or kneeling on the ground. Much less dancing. Much less dancing. <laughs> you, you know? know? And it's, it's so, it is so amazing. And I, I commended Minister Brenda when we met afterwards, you know. Mr. Minister Brenda has the young, the, the most biggest, with the most youngest dance ministers, little ones coming up. And you see how those children, as much as half of them, as she said, did not understand, did not know, might not know what to do, you know. It's like, because they would have came out and the innocence and the children and, listen, everything that God wanted to happen, I believe, happened Took place. at the port front there, as much as we had all the plans. But remember, it's, you always said, many are up the plans of the man's heart. Yes, yes. What is, is what supersedes everything and we must be able to give God the way that he can do what he has to do. Yes, you might have a plan and you might not know exactly what he's saying or listen, but if you follow in and the Holy Spirit leading, eventually he makes it clear. Yeah? And I just want to really commend the young people. You know, sometimes, and we see where it's it, it already, already shifted because many members, the dancers and them come from different church, different congregations, yes, you know? Yes. And we really want to thank also the pastors and them for releasing them to come That's out right. and be a part of this move because, I mean, <laughs> listen, Right? And you see all when young people come forth and say, Minister Sharon, it's like, can you like get some new talk? We're talking about again, different tongues. It, it she, y'all, they were all just in tongues and it was just, and I was like, you know, was obviously we didn't see none, none of it going on. Yes, yes. But it's just amazing to see with, when they say yes to the Holy Spirit, even at times when we don't understand what happens. And anything that God does, he does it well. Very well, that's right. Very sure. well. We don't have to. The thing is, sometimes we go out to do something, and even if you're unsure, you're second guessing yourself, you don't want to go forth. I wonder what I'm going to say. I wonder, you know, I ain't too good enough. No, the excuses should not come. Just say yes and just say, God, you do the rest. Yeah. Right? So, obedience is one of the imp very important, you know, in ministry in general. Even as dance, it might look simple as we're just dancing in the street. But listen to me. All of us are called to function in different capacities, right? In ministry that we are part of. That's right. And how Shekinah was be the one to went out into the streets and now bring the church, bring the, bring the gospel to the outside. This is in evangelism, a different thing now, right? And the pageantry, the colors and the displays of the elaborate everything is just a, you know, the creativity is what God you know, most time he would draw. And now we, listen, our God is so, um, he's so, you know, he's so, um, he is Amazing, just, listen, magnificent. He is just nice so words. loving um, mm -hmm. and he just likes to, you know, he, he, in everything we learn in dance ministry and even in pageantry, right, he, he likes the colors and the, Remember when God told um, David that to mm. the, tam the temple? Mm. He was so specific yes. in what colors to use, what, you know, the colors and what the seed and the wood and the, the gold and yep. the listen yep. and the, yep. all the emeralds. And you telling me God don't know exactly what he wants. So we have to understand that God knows exactly what he's doing in our lives. Okay. And we ought to just be obedient and be in a place always to hear his voice and just obey. So tell me something. There are many persons, even in the church um, arena, that does not know what pageantry is. Okay. You care to elaborate, elaborate a little bit on pageantry? Well, pageantry basically... It sounds like a nice, sweet, <laughs> big word, you know? Well, pageantry, pageantry yeah. using in the dance fraternity, right? Okay. In worship dance, right? But in general, pageantry, it's, it means, you know, it's, it's a display of an of elaborate display of whatever 
you um, want to display or want to be seen. But it's done very colorful. Okay. It's done with all, when I say props, everything they could think about. Like if you want to do a Christmas program, you bring a Christmas tree, you bring an elf Santa Claus, all those are pageant trees. We in the church and there's a, you know, like in the Catholics and then we'll have the processional with the priest coming in with the, the smoke thingy mm -hmm. and they come in with their robes and the garbs. Well, listen, that is pageantry. What we did when we come out and we march through the show with the chauffeurs and the, the flags and the billows displaying the majesty of God and the colors them, depicting what the colors mean in, you understand, and the yeah. symbolic stuff. We are the Ark of the Covenant. The covenant represents the presence that God, the glory, right? Mm -hmm. But understand that we're not in, in that part again. So the Ark of the Covenant is where the God's presence and his glory would have been dwelling. Okay. But understand where we walk with it and we want to do a pageantry piece in Scarborough was the showcase now. This is where we was in the Old Testament. But because Jesus Christ came mm -hmm. now, we don't have to walk with anything. To display that you know what you we don't have to carry his glory anyway mm -hmm. his presence now is in us yeah so therefore now we now became now become the biggest pageantry we are the display on this earth for our god okay <laughs> this is the biggest pageantry we will ever be a part of okay our lives are in we, we display daily right that we serve a god he has been faithful he continues to be faithful you understand and he he wishes for none to perish okay but for all to all, come to, re that's come right. to repentance and um i know uh, a lot of the dancers they were very disappointed as the the shower as soon as we reached at the amphitheater um this glorious shower yeah. came down <laughs> <laughs> you know, in its fullness, in its fullness, the Listen. shower just came down in its Listen. fullness, and I saw dancers dancing in the rain. Yes. Minister Marva, Minister Brenda, uh, Minister Ria, Ria, and, and and a group of them were just yes. they, they they did not allow the rain. Now I may not go in the <laughs> stay in the rain to catch no cold. But at that moment, the, the, pre, the ple, uh, presence of the Lord yeah. was so rich there, yes. uh, especially from that march from the center of Scarborough to the amphitheater. It, yes. it was feeling, it, there was a feeling it was there. A, it was a, it was a, just a, it was, it was just a difference from when we was dancing in the front there. Yes, But when yes. we the processional going in and we turn, it was like if I, I, I heard the Lord saying he was so much pleased with it and it's like it was finished. Mm -hmm. Because now I believe the Lord is saying that because we would have been obedient and came out. And do you know that that weekend would have been exactly one month when they had carnival in the city? Oh, okay. And I believe as we turned and we went and I said, God, where is this? And it was like that when that shower came down, I looked at it. And it was like, you know, just, just seal it mm. with this water because you, we understand what water means yes. and what the white and the purification, yeah. but it also cleanses and it heals and it mm -hmm. washes, washes, you understand? Yes. Yes. So when I saw that shower came down, and even earlier in the day and days before I was telling myself, I said, for me, the rain could fall until Sunday. Yes. Because you know why? I be, what I believe in, I tell God, I said, God, Holy Spirit, you cleanse this, this. You cleanse this, this um, island wash it and just make the way that when we come out now it makes our dance easy easy you oh. understand so we use everything every instrument every symbol every color every flag everything what we use is not by chance the holy spirit wanted it just like that and he got to do exactly what he wanted to do okay. with our obedience there's another part but we will leave that for next week <laughs> Um, because you know how time flies fast. So, in closing, what are your thoughts? What do you want to say to people who want to the dance but are afraid, okay. or not allowed, or um, they probably see the, the smoothness of the dance and and they saying, what what am I going to do? I want to. I want to be a part of. Okay. I I wonder if I can, if I'm good enough, or 
if my foot would plat, my feet would plat, you know, and stuff like, speak to, 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 to those who All right. would <laughs> like to dance. Yeah. Well, I would say to you all, first and foremost, that we all have been called mm -hmm. to minister to not just others, but firstly to ourselves. Okay. But understand that we first minister our lifestyle, everything should be in a part where God will always be inside and so he can direct. Okay. However, what I want to let the public know, right, that as much as we are in the ministry is a part of the church, but the ministry is also part of the island. Okay. Meaning that we would not discontinue anybody at once to be a part of the Shekinah ministry. In spite of the age, because we had a few there. <laughs> Come on now. was there also. <laughs> yes. You know, it had a few people it had no age, age limit, there. Yeah. Right? So, don't ever, the first thing I believe people tend to do is discontinue themselves. Yes. Discount yourself before you even give yourself a chance. Okay. Don't do that. My thing is, if you have an urgency or God has been speaking to you about dance and movements, you can feel free to contact us and at a later, later date we will give the, um, the numbers. But first and foremost, go to the Holy Spirit and, and ask Him, right? Should you be a part of? And if He says yes, reach out. You know, it doesn't have to be the Shekinah. Maybe mm -hmm. your church have a ministry. Yes. Or your church, your pastor, your leaders might talk to your leader. It's always good to always involve your leadership, right? Because sometimes they're just waiting to somebody might be ready to say, you know what, I'm willing to serve in the dance ministry. Yeah, and let's see where God takes it there. But first, have a heart for the people. Yes, and have yes. a heart to serve. And do know dance. that if you go <laughs> to your pastor, your leaders, and say, I want to do dance ministry, they should not run you down to do anything. So, therefore, also, you are to always make sure that you. You have this relationship with the Holy Spirit that He can lead you. Mm -hmm. The Lord would not lead you and it's wrong. it's not a flesh thing. Yes, because it's really not a flesh thing. Yes, yes. Right? As much as all of we are called, Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. Yes. You, I believe all of us could be the few. Mm -hmm. It's just us now to avail ourselves, right? To His leadership, you know, avail ourselves also to the leadership of the, and the visionary of the church that you're a part of. Right? And just allow God to just move in your life. You know, live a life that's always, you know, pleasing to the Holy Spirit so that, you know, when He releases you to be a part of, yes. it's easy for you to say, okay, Lord, this is your, you know, this is you directing. Amen. And, but you have, you, we all are worshippers in our own sphere. Mm -hmm. And you just worship before the Lord the first thing, before you even go to anywhere else. You are the Holy Spirit should have that relationship. Amen. <laughs> so, um, people of God, all those of us who are viewing, um, we have come to the end of today's, um, this evening's um, dance pageantry um, showcase that went before. And uh, we will be back, uh, you know, to give some more highlights yes. of it. So we you. want to give God praise and thanks for you. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Stay under the protection of the Father. Um, yes, enjoy yourself, but do not overdo. Amen. So we want to thank Minister Sharon for coming and blessing us with those um, clippings of, of, of that episode that went on the 27th of November. So God bless you as you stay positioned in the Father. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye-bye. I'm Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season.